Hey everyone, this is Scott. Welcome to New Tech Old Toys. Today we're going to unbox and check out a Cal Digit TS3 Thunderbolt 3 docking station. This thing's got 15 ports. If you've ever wondered how to get more expansion out of your Mac, your MacBook Pro, your PC laptop that has a Thunderbolt 3 on the side, this video is for you. You might even have another docking solution or be totally enmeshed in dongles as I look around my messy desk that is about to get cleaned up thanks to a 15 port Thunderbolt 3 docking station. So check it out, you don't want to miss it. All right, well look, something came in the mail today. I've been waiting and waiting for this. And so here we have a solution in front of us called a Thunderbolt 3 docking station. This really opens up a lot of opportunity. I hope you enjoy and find some use and value in this. Let's check it out. All right. So there you have it, folks. The TS3 Plus Thunderbolt Station 3. Pretty exciting. Okay, it's, it's packaged very well, and yet there's quite a bit of box crush here, right out of the box. Okay, so that's that's interesting. Um, well, we'll check it out. We'll open this up and see what we have in store. The packaging does look pretty well, but it looks like it could have used a little more padding or space around the top and bottom of the shipping container. Okay, so the TS3 Plus, 15 ports, 85 watts. Uh, chip reader and writer is a UHS-2 rating. That's high speed right there for those memory chip transfers. Gigabit Ethernet, yes. Digital optical, USB-C 3.1 Gen 2. So 10 gigabit per second. USB-A 3.1 Gen 1, 5 gigabit per second. Got a bunch of those ports which is more than fast enough for your webcams and, and all kinds of things. So this is pretty fabulous. Thunderbolt 3 downstream port, a Thunderbolt 3 host with, for charging your laptop or your or whatever other device you're connecting. You put your main power input, a SD card slot, in fact, a UHS-2 SD card slot. High speed reading and writing. Got a headphone output, got an audio input, uh, some more 5 gigabit USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, both USB-C style and USB-A. Pretty high speed stuff and then some super high speed stuff. Got a DisplayPort video output and it's a DisplayPort 1.2 so to run the DisplayPort 1.2 protocol uh, that's pretty fantastic because that will let you use more than just one monitor on that display port chain if you use multi-stream uh, settings on your display port 1.2 compatible displays you can daisy chain multiple displays off of that display port so hopefully we'll um, I'll do another video on that someday because that's that's a really neat feature okay so thunderbolt 3 downstream thunderbolt 3 post yeah, I'm excited. Let's open this up and get going. This place needs this. All right. So it's a bit of a hot mess. Or, well, okay. Nice. So thank you card right off the top there. So got some support numbers. Don't forget to spread the word if you like our product. Hey, guys, don't, and gals, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Subscribe and like also to spread the word. Okay, power cable. All right, got some documentation. All right, some rubberized feet if I want to set it up in a horizontal orientation. And I probably do, actually, this, uh, this sounds nice. Okay, very nice. Always like to see a Thunderbolt 3 data cable. Very nice. 
Very nice looking cable, looking forward to putting that to good use. All right, nice power brick, really liking that a lot. A 20 volt, 9 amp output, very nice. So, seeing a lot of 6.3 amp outputs uh, in the industry. So to see that 9 amp output, I see that we are, we have a very capable system for charging multiple devices and uh, supporting these workflows. So nice little quick start guide built in here, but here's what it's really all about. All right, now isn't that pretty? And it matches the MacBook, so pretty excited there too. Okay, space gray it is. It, it used to just be in silver. So this is pretty. So it's pretty heavy too. It's very solid solid aluminum. This looks like it has a great heat sink to it. Okay, let's check this out. Exciting times. The battle station grows. such a nice feel. That is a nice look. Yeah, first impressions. This is this is really really nice. Very solid feeling. Rather heavy if you couldn't hear that thud. All right, I believe these rubberized feet are going to quickly come in handy. Definitely looking forward to that. Mm. Okay, well that's really nice too, a nice non-slip surface there on the bottom, so, oh yeah, that's actually very positive right there too. So super nice non-slip surface on the bottom there. So these rubberized feet for horizontal mode, they look like they're set up to fit in the slots, the heating vent slots perfectly, with um, a little bit of nice non-slip grippiness to them. I'm going to have to take a closer look here. This might be a little, okay, it does fit. I thought it looked a little too long, but if you put the ends in first, it does squeeze in and smooth out. Woohoo! PS3 Plus, Cal Digit. Oh yeah. That's not sliding around. I will not have to be doing as many dongle swaps moving forward. This feels really nice. The build quality here is really coming across on the first impressions. I'm really looking forward to this and appreciating this already. And I haven't even turned it on. Okay. Very nice, excited to put that to use. So, CalDigit. Okay, very, very nice. Thunderbolt 3 cable. And then here we have the, we have the computer. What is it, 40? Gigabyte data bus. We have our energized light. It's blue, beautiful. 